every piece of wood because of its organic nature and its grain patterns and where it's grown, it gives you a different tonality. You know, I heard one of these drums and the sound was just captivating. To think that that sound was produced solely by wood, such an organic material that has such a warmth to it, was really where it started. My name is Benjamin McLaughlin. I was born in Omaha, Nebraska, currently living and working in Vancouver, British Columbia. I have spent the last five years creating these African drums called African Tongue Drums. The name of my piece and of my work is Ubuntu Sound Resonating Furniture. Ubuntu is actually a, an African philosophy and to paraphrase means the essence of being human and interconnected. So these drums really have, to me, become a means for a space to encourage people to communicate by a very natural medium, to express themselves, to really just enjoy the setting and take in a very sensory experience. In its original form, um, these drums were called log drums, actually used by indigenous tribes in Western Africa. These tribes would often use them to communicate between villages. So there would be a series of slits cut horizontally along these logs, and by playing a few different tones, they could communicate between tribes. The soundboards that I'm using for all of my drums is a hardwood called African Paduk. Um, comes from tropical West Africa and the grain structure of the wood is often incredibly tight. It's very dense, very hard wood. That is where the range of tonality that you're getting within these drums comes from. I also love uninhibited communication, uninhibited creativity, uninhibited freedom of expression just allowing a space for people to communicate and express themselves and just have fun. Putting that oil on and you see the wood absorb this oil and transform. The color just becomes so vibrant, it becomes almost alive really. We tried to make the design be as compact as possible and easy to assemble as possible so that if I had a client interested in my work um, from overseas somewhere, it would ship using as little energy as possible. It's really important to me, I think, to, to minimize the, the impact on the environment. Five components within the design, four of five are matching, so they lock together, and then the drum is sort of the final piece that insets in. I was almost trying to create a bit of a visual metaphor placing the drum and, and these very incredible, beautiful hardwoods on display, if you will. And the drum is the centerpiece of the design. My work has been able to connect with a lot of people and there's been a lot of appreciation in the fact that you don't have to know how to play the drum. You play it and then it's, you hear these notes, the same notes, same tonality, same resonance that really drew me in the first time. And then it's like, wow, never seen one of these before. So that discovery, that curiosity is also a, a big thing that drives my work. I always say it's in the, in the constant pursuit of a good time. The fact that something made entirely of wood or of an organic material can create an experience is uh, pretty righteous. The cultural richness of them, drums are a, a means of communication. You feel the rhythm and the vibrations through your body. It's such a sensual experience. Why I've taken so much enjoyment and continue to pursue working with wood and working, creating these drums is seeing the transformation of a material from 
something that's very raw to a very highly refined, calculated, beautiful work of art.